Welcome back everyone for another Evertail summoning video. So today we're gonna go with uh, Gawain, the new SSR unit. So just looking at her kit real quick, uh, she has attack 2, it's pretty self-explanatory. Savage Assassin, which is 500% damage and ignores uh, damage reduction, but it's only unlocked when she has defeated at least one unit. Uh, Royal Helio Slash, which I think is like one of her bigger selling points is because it hits, it ignores the stealth status and it hits two units. And the good thing about this is like the stealth meta right now is pretty uh, strong. So it's a pretty good way to counter the current meta right now. The bad part about it is that it drains a lot of spirit and uh, she's only able to use it if she hasn't defeated any units yet or if the uh, party has six or more spirit which if they do then she's probably gonna drain it really quick because of that three cost spirit and triumphant battle cry is the other big thing is it essentially resets hold ground plus which from um freya like we already know like being able to reset hold ground plus is super strong it's like really really powerful and on top of that all the allies gain uh an armor status as well as uh does it get enraged yeah they get they get enraged and armor status so that's really good it gives you spirit it gives you three spirit and the big part is that it resets that whole ground plus and so she does have a whole ground plus and she has killer instinct and killer instinct i it's it's kind of weird like she's in this place where in certain scenarios she might actually not want to be able to kill the unit because killer instinct only works before she kills an enemy unit and i think killer instinct's a really good um passive to have it gains three spirit and they get enraged and it triggers after every turn but uh if they defeated an ally or an, an enemy, uh, trigger it after each turn until yeah. So until she defeats an, an enemy, then it's pretty much just uh, useless. Like it, it's just like she then has one passive ability. So that kind of sucks because, like, I don't know. Part of me thinks like. She, she she's better off not being able to kill an enemy because she get, she still gets killer instinct she gets spirit and you don't have to worry about that and she still has access to royal helio slash which is i think one of her bigger selling points and savage assassin you don't necessarily always want it if you have like uh like let's say there's a stealth unit and someone else because if she kills an, an enemy she might just go for savage assassin and that just might take priority over possibly hitting two stealth units so it's i don't know it's kind of situational and again triumphant but battle cry is amazing if she can consistently get multiple kills because yeah it, it, it unlocks every time she kills uh Anatomy. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Skills unlocked after each use or yeah. Yeah. So in terms of that, like that's like I think like the main reason why she like like she she has a lot of potential, but you have to invest in her heavily and she's gonna be really hungry for like spirit. And based off of like a, I think a farm I saw somewhere else like I heard her AI that uh, she might not prioritize triumphant battle cry and she might use savage assassin if like she's at 1 HP but she has the spirit to use savage assassin in that scenario you definitely want her to recover HP but I don't know how her AI is so where I think she fits on teams is I think she's probably gonna be 
good in the sense of if you're having really bad problems countering stealth units, then I think she could be a really good counter in the sense of like, even if they potentially one shot her, she has hold ground plus. And if she's able to retaliate and kill them with a uh, Royal Helio Slash plus that Killer Instinct and Rage, like, I think she could be a good counter. But other than that, like, like she, she's she's still, like, even if, if even if they're not stealth, like, she's still a pretty good unit. But I think that's, like, where she shines more, plus with her whole ground plus passive ability to reset that. That could potentially make her, like, almost unkillable. But, yeah, like, these are all, like, theoreticals. How she'll actually implement, I'm not completely sure. And then that's why I'm gonna pull on her on my Overdrive team, because in my opinion, I think she's she's probably gonna be like a hyper carry, where yeah, she's she's probably you're probably gonna wanna like heavily invest in her, and if you don't, she's probably just gonna not be able to unlock Killer Instinct, or she's not uh, gonna be able to unlock Triumphant Battle Cry. Like she's if she doesn't get a kill off. She still has Killer Instinct, she can still generate some spirit, she can still um, be some use. So, yeah. I think I'm just going to summon for her on just the, the one account for now, and uh, possibly in the future I might try for a Crisis Team, just because Crisis Team stealth counters Crisis really hard, and my Crisis Team hasn't been having such a great time with that. But because of her whole spirit management, like it goes really high, then really low. I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hold off for now. So uh, let's hope we get fairly lucky with this. We're starting at 346k. Let's see if we can get a copy. That's a copy, yeah. Quick video, and I'm okay with that. I am, I'm, I'm happy about that. Like, if I can get a really lucky early summon, I will definitely take it. Um, let's see what skill she has. At, uh, at 80 or when you uh, limit break her. Um, kill yep, we definitely want Killer Instinct. That's, that's, that's a pretty very good uh, passive to have, especially if you're not planning on uh, what happened to her clothes? Am I going crazy? Did, did, did she not? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm going back to that one. I'm like, am I going crazy? I, 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 I could have sworn she looked fine for, for a little bit, but then, of course. So I guess I'll, I'll, I'll just write some stuff for now, and the spirit. will give you a lot of spirit. She'll be fine. Just throw some of those on. Um, yeah, we don't care about it too much. Sure. Let's do... Well, I, I, I might as well. It's right there. Okay, lots of spirit. And this whole ground. But yeah, like, uh...
it might be a little overkill on the spirit, but I uh, know well. Well, she's actually she's actually pretty fast too. I just realized. Okay, so if you get the kill first, killer instinct uh, doesn't trigger. You just automatically lose it. But yeah, that, that looks about right. Like, enrage everyone plus armor. That's really good. And yeah. Uh, let's see. Savage or royal? Ideally, royal, because both of them will die. Let's see. Oh! Maybe it will be okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe the AI is not as bad as. Uh, people were making it out to be. Yeah, that, that does kind of suck that, like, um, if she gets the kill right away, like, she, she, she pretty much has just one passive ability at that point, because Killer Instinct just never triggers, it's just... 100% never used. I, uh, I don't know why they always love just to target the whole family. It's... Yeah, I don't. I don't know when she'll use Savage Assassin versus Royal Helio Slash. Because she has the spirit for it now. She, she definitely has enough spirit. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this AI yet. But yeah, I'm out of mana, so I guess that will be it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you get as lucky as I did because I got really lucky. I, I'm, yeah, I got really lucky with that. Uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments, did you guys summon for, I know it's a little bit late for the video just because like, she's been out for a while, but I've been really busy and she's almost gone. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Subscribe if you can. Um, let me down in the comments below what you think of her and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.